using proportions to convert between measurement systems. And first, some important vocabulary. First, a ratio, comparison of two quantities by division. So this is kind of review. But again, if you had, uh, you could say in, um, there are 24 inches in two feet. Um, I could draw that two a little better, but that would be a ratio. Every two feet has 24 inches. Um, second term, a proportion, an equation that states that two ratios are equivalent. Oh, so if I said there are 24 inches in two feet, um, are there also 48 inches in four feet? So we have uh, different numbers, but the equation that states that two ratios are equivalent, these are actually equivalent, these are proportional um, ratios right here. And finally, a conversion factor, a ratio of two equivalent measurements. So um, if we use our examples that we have over here, what is the conversion factor here? Well, the conversion factor is that um, if, we, if we really simplify these both down, this one and this one, that there are 12 inches in a foot. So the way we could continue to work this out is using a conversion factor of a 12 to 1 ratio. And um, that applies to our other examples, ratio, proportion, and then conversion factor. So let's talk about now converting some measurements using proportions. And we've got this word problem. The office water jug contains six quarts of water. How many liters does the office water jug contain? So we need a quick little um, conversion here. Um, one quart is equal to 946 thousandths liters. So um, that's what one quart. We need to figure out what six quarts is going to be equal to. So I'm going to set up a proportion here um, or a ratio. I have uh, one quart is equal to my 946 thousandths liters. So that is my first ratio that I have. But now we need to apply this. That's what one quart is. But what about six quarts? What would that be? So in order to solve this, I'm going to kind of find the relationship here between my quarts, my top here. Um, one going to six, I have a times six relationship here. So I can actually apply the same thing to the bottom. And so I can do 0 0.946, 946 thousandths times six. And we can get our answer here. Remember, when you work with decimals, especially when you multiply, we're going to get it to the end. 6 times 6 is 36, carry the 3. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 3 is 27. 9 times 6 is 54. 56, if we add that, I'm going to carry the 5. 6 times 0 is 0, but we're going to put the 5. Now, the answer is not 5,676. We actually need to move, uh, I'm catching myself here, move this back three places as I moved it one, two, three. So I'm going to come back one, two, three, and I should get an answer of five and six hundred and seventy six thousandths um, liters. This is how many liters are inside that water jug. So all I did is write my first um, ratio and then set up a proportion right here that is equivalent to that ratio. So let's try another one here, another word problem. A hamster weighs 255 and 6 tenths grams. How many ounces does the hamster weigh? We've got our conversion right here. Um, that's our conversion factor. So let's set up our first proportion. We know that 1 ounce is equal to 28.4 grams. So now, what if we have uh, 255 and 6 tenths grams? Well, how many ounces is that going to be for this hamster. So again, I'm going to look at the relationship between the numbers that I have. And so right here, I'm going up. It looks like I multiply by something, but I don't know what. So in order to solve this, um, I'm going to actually divide. I can figure out what the, the, um, the rule is down here by dividing 255 and 6 tenths by 28.4. And when we divide decimals, remember our decimal point's got to be the end here, so we're actually going to move one place there. And this basically turns us into 2,556 divided by 284. And um, I did this previously, but if you divide this all the way out, um, it actually goes evenly nine times into 2,556. So when we do this, you multiply it out. And the answer you would actually get would be 9. So this is how many ounces 
this hamster weighs. How many ounces does a hamster weigh? The hamster would weigh nine ounces as we go to solve for that. So again, finding the rule. If you can't find it, you can always divide and then go from there. Last one here, um, and I'll urge you to try this on your own, and then um, you can unpause the video and see how you do. But 20 yards is equal to how many meters? And I put the conversion factor there. One yard is equal to 914 thousandths meters. So set up your first proportion, um, and then solve it, and then unpause this video and see how you do. Go ahead. Okay, so your proportion you should set up, go back here, should be... One yard is going to be equal to 914 thousandths meters. And then from here, we want to know, okay, but what if I have 20 yards? All right, well, I think we can find the relationship here without having to divide. It looks like it's times 20. One times 20 would get me 20. So I can actually do the same thing here to my bottom, which is my meters. And I can say, what is... 914 thousandths meters times 20 and we can see if we get our answer. Remember to move our decimal over. I'll remember this time it's three places. We're going to multiply them and get all zeros here. Zero times four is zero. Zero times one is zero. Zero times nine is zero. Cancel it out. Don't forget to place, drop your zero down here and then we have two. Two times four is eight. Two times one is two and two times nine would get me 18. Add these up. Should get zeros here. 8, 2, 8, 1. But I'm not done because I need to come back decimal point three places. 1, 2, 3. And I should get 18.28. 18 point 28. Right there. 18 and 28 hundredths as my answer for the number of meters that we would have in 20 yards. So 20 yards should equal up to 18.28 meters.